The hip opener increases flexibility and sensitivity in the hips and the structures that connect the upper body to the lower body. It also eases tension in the hips and low back. It's a great warm up for any yoga practice and it's especially good for those who sit in a chair for the majority of the day. Is there enough room there, Ian? Just a little bit further back? Okay. Sit up tall, those of you who are seated. Ankles directly under your knees. Lift the breastbone and chest. Take your hands underneath your right thigh and turn a couple of circles with the right thigh. And then bring your ankle onto your thigh. Bring your hands onto your hips. Take your shoulders onto the back side of your body. Those of you who are seated, keep the spine tall. Take a breath in as you breathe out, fold from the hips. Keep the head back, chin level, fold from the hips. Relax your face and throat and breathe. Good, and those of you who are seated, bring yourself back upright. Lee, you'll put your feet on the floor. Release your right foot back to the floor. Both feet parallel once again. Bring your hands underneath your left thigh. Turn some circles with the hip. Bring your ankle onto your thigh. Bring your hands onto your hips. Take your shoulders back. Keep the spine long, head back, chin level. Take a breath in as you breathe out, fold forward from the hips. Shoulders stay back, head stays back. Good job, Ed. Keep the head back, chin level, fold from the hips. Relax your face and throat and breathe. Bring yourself back and take your left foot back to the floor. And Lee, if you'll bend your knees into your chest, roll onto your right side and use your hands and arms to sit up. 